This is the most important part of this overall assembly. If you don't get it right, nothing's gonna work. So let's take a look at how to get there. Bamboo Labs do an okay job of showing you how to assemble this thing, but they don't put nearly enough emphasis on how to actually get it to tick and get it to run correctly. So it's very frustrating when you follow that video and you sort of put it together and then you end up with this type of issue where it just binds all the time. <laughs> With only the escape wheel and the fork installed, the escape wheel should run freely in the reverse direction and should get caught when rotated in the forward direction. The balance shaft interacts with the forks in two ways. The center bump is gonna interact with the outside forks and the middle fork is gonna interact with a cutout closer to the shaft of the balance shaft. You can see in this clip that the center fork is actually being engaged by the balance shaft tab. So I took a knife and I just scraped away the top until it was free and clear and that tab was only actuating the outside forks. At rest, this is pointing directly at the pin for the fork. We're calling this the neutral position. This is a bit tricky. You have to install the spring and then the balance wheel and then the shaft and sandwich it all together at once with that pointing as close as you can to the pin. The adjustability of the spring position at the top there is what gives you a little bit of adjustment as far as where this is pointing after the fact, but the most important part is just sandwiching it all together correctly. So I added another spacer right here because I had a little bit of a gap. So hopefully that keeps these two aligned a little bit better. If you see any of the brass rod showing, be sure to add some bearing spacers because this thing flips around and so it might work in the orientation that you're testing it in. But once it's fully installed, it's going to be upside down and sideways and all, all the other different orientations. So be sure to add those bearing spacers so that it's not moving out of alignment. Before going any further, you need to check that this assembly does the ticking that it's expected to do. So just apply a light pressure in the forward direction on that escapement wheel and it should tick back and forth and you're ready to start putting this thing all together. I don't love the order that they did the assembly in their video either. I think you should do the base with the lower half of the dome installed. That way you have everything ready for the escapement mechanism to go in and test like you see here. And then you can build up from there. And you're also gonna have to do this in reverse if you wanna do any tweaking on the escapement mechanism. I recommend only using a couple screws on this part initially because you are probably gonna have to take it apart a couple times to get this thing right. but you'll just have to do these steps in reverse if you want to get back to that escapement mechanism and make any adjustments. I didn't see this mentioned anywhere, but I did find that adding some screws to the balance wheel to add some extra weight around the outside did help. I found that it gave it just that little bit more inertia swinging back and forth and it made my escapement mechanism work just a little bit more consistently. I think this is maybe a byproduct of the motor that they provide in the kit being too slow and just underpowered and so I don't think the, the plastic was getting enough momentum back and forth to actually keep it going. So I found that the, uh, the weights did help your mileage may vary. This may or may not help your mechanism work, um, but it is what helped mine finally be a little bit more consistent. Now, all that being said, this thing still isn't perfect. Mine's not running 100%. I think the longest I've had it run is about five to 10 minutes without getting a jam, um, but it does still jam occasionally. It's a great model, it's very cool. It's a bit frustrating to put together with the provided instructions, but hopefully this video does help someone out. 
and helps you put it together and have it be at least mostly functional. I hope that helps someone out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.